My friend, my friend, bury me beneath the willow tree. This is on page 93 of the 100 all-time greatest baritone tunes. I know. I think I really like the way this book's laid out. If you have the book, play along with me. It's going to be in the key of G. G major has a major root. It has a minor second. It has a minor third. B minor. It has a major four, the C. A major five, the D. A minor six, the E. E minor has all the same notes that G major does. That's why all those pentatonics work, five note scales. So the next one we're gonna be doing right after our E minor is gonna be our F sharp diminished. Looks like a D7. Kind of swappable. And then when we go here to the G, that completes our circle. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, and do. So for this song, really, we're only going to need the one. We're going to need the six. We're going to need the four. And we're going to need the five. The five is going to be made into the dominant, so it's a five, seven chord. And then the four is going to have hammer-ons. Here's the A minor. Here's the C major. So we're going to have the C major and go going to be the, the pizzazz part of this song. Okay, so the melody is going to be like something like 3-5-3-4-2 three, three, open. We're going to go to the open 2, back to the open, and then play in the open note down below. 2, open. Open 2, open, open 1, open, and then 2. The reason why those last ones are going a little far, uh, a little fast, those are eighth notes. They're all barred together. So we need to have 0-0-1-0 zero, zero, zero feel a little faster. But since we've got an eighth note right before, it shouldn't too, feel too fast. Open, open, two, open, open, one, open. Awesome. We're going to go down to the two. The next melody line is going to be the same as the first with a little adaptation. We're going to have a three, hold it, to a five, three, four, two. And in fact, you can even do a pull off if you want because there is a marking right above the top, meaning that we're going from one note to another. If anybody knows what that is, put it in the comment section. There's two types of them. And they're just a legato type of marking, but I want to see if anybody's watching this and knows it. Uh, and then the next measure, we're going to be going to the A minor. We're going to be holding up the open one. And then we're going to play four with our pinky because it feels great on this, uh, the G string. And then we're going to play an open on the D. And then A, A, and then open to the G. That's the whole melody. Now, what we're going to be searching for is... Uh, a little bit of pizzazz at the end. So when we're doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, each measure is going to feel like it has something special. One, two, to E minor. Back to G. D7. G. E minor to A minor. Here's our hammer on. To the D7. And then back to the G. Here's what it sounds like with a little pizzazz. Oh, won't you bury me? different verses to this you can do many different grooves if you want to make it reggae try a pop and a drop what we're going to be doing is exhibiting eighth notes g e minor back to g d7 y'all g is going to go from e minor to a minor do that hammer on here it is d7 and end on a strong finish g in fact this one has a little pizzazz so maybe end on a g major seven Hope you had a great time today. Bye.